There are so many social media platforms to choose from that most business owners focus their time and attention on one or two. When deciding which sites are best to brand and market your business, you can't forget the visually engaging pins and boards found on Pinterest. There's a few standout ways in which Pinterest varies from other social media sites. While you can follow users and they can follow you, it's not about friends and followers. Instead, it's about generating instant access to engaging visual imagery and informative pins regarding any and every area of interest. These pins can be added to a user's personal boards for future reference. Anyone can access any other user's pins by the category or keywords related to the pin. While each pin can have a bit of text or even a URL, the goal here is not the here's where I am and what I'm doing topic of most social media platforms. Instead, a relevant comment regarding the post and what it represents is standard. Most importantly, unlike Facebook and Twitter where your post's peak engagement is rarely more than five days or a few hours, pins can continue to show up in search results indefinitely. Now, if you're inclined to stick with the major players like Facebook and Twitter, don't write off Pinterest until you take a closer look at the stats. First off, let's talk about the sheer size of your potential audience. Pinterest boasts an insane 150 million active users. Yeah, you heard that right. 70 million of those are in the US, with 80 million outside the US. As can be expected, Pinterest activity is proportionately astronomical. There are over 75 billion pins, which have been posted to over 1 billion public and private user boards. Over 2 billion shopping pins are posted daily. 87% of users make purchases after seeing products or services on Pinterest, and 93% use it with an eventual purchase, online or offline, as their primary goal. Which makes Pinterest a no-brainer platform for those seeking to sell goods and services to a shopping-minded audience. And 72% of users make offline purchasing decisions based on Pinterest content. So it's not just a goldmine for online businesses. The average Pinterest user session is just over 14 minutes, which is very impressive when you compare that to most other social media platforms. 14 million rich pin articles are posted every day, and a whopping 5% of all web traffic comes from Pinterest. 80% of Pinterest users access the site from a mobile device. So mobile marketing and mobile-friendly content is very important here. And two out of three pins are posted by businesses or brands, so you've got some competition, which is actually a very good indicator for how profitable Pinterest can be. Oh, and if you happen to be in the culinary niche, guess what? There are over 1.7 billion recipes on Pinterest. As for your audience makeup, 81% of Pinterest users are women, so the Pinterest is for girls stereotype clearly has some truth to it, at least from a market research perspective. But don't worry, if your target audience is males, the percentage of males on the site is increasing rapidly, making up about 40% of new users recently. In case you were wondering, the most popular categories for these new male Pinterest users are technology, food, and drink. Big surprise, right? As for age, millennials are using Pinterest just as much as Instagram. The median age of users is 40 years old, but the most active pinners are under the age of 40. So now that we've established why you should definitely be marketing on Pinterest, Let's talk about some Pinterest goals.